what it is um, is a, a project to cooperate called using hydrodynamics and um, that essentially means that we have in the UK a stockpile of nuclear material, nuclear weapons material, and we need to ensure that uh, that material is used in safety but also is reliable. So the UK-French cooperation is aimed at um, testing that material uh, to see what happens to it uh, under certain circumstances. But I want to make really clear that it is not the type of nuclear test that people talk about in the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. Uh, what I'm talking about is what's called subcritical tests which do not result in a nuclear explosion but it is to uh, test the uh, the materials we have. What we've agreed with France is that we will share uh, facilities, share a site uh, in France, a probable site in the UK at Aldermaston, um, but we will not be doing the experiments together. We will have separate facilities but we see the importance of um, pooling the resources, if you like, that we're spending on uh, take, carrying out those tests. One of the places of development in the UK is Aldermaston, where they're building a technology development centre. Uh, and the second place, which effectively uh, twins um, France uh, and England, uh, we have in um, Aldermaston the TDC, but in France we have in Valduc Epuri, uh, a hydrodynamic research centre that's being built here. So as well as for safeguarding, we're concerned it could also be used for uh, making the next generation of nuclear weapons. This 50-year treaty creates a real problem for us under Article 6 of the Non-Proliferation Treaty. They explain us that it is uh, effective uh, a research centre about atomic things, but not. It is a defense uh, uh, center. Uh, we are not often allowed to go in it. Everywhere, uh, it's a um, mystery here. In the forest, it's not easy to find it, and you're not allowed to stop it. And maybe sometimes um, uh, we say, "Oh, we don't go because we we're not able to film on the on so and the." They like that. Everybody is frightened about uh, Valduc because it's uh, it's closed, and maybe it's um, it's not a good thing. If if they want uh, the people to trust in them, so they have to open more often the door. Uh, we can understand that it is. Um, uh, secret because they are working things also, but they are not really good um, with communication. Well, the, the Davis Treaty is about uh, modernizing nuclear weapons because uh, the policy of France and the UK is to continue to have nuclear weapons and so modernization is uh, uh, the way to continue to uh, have uh, nuclear weapons. And the Totalist Treaty is uh, very strange at the international level because it's the first time a treaty exists between two nuclear states, the UK and France, to, to put in common their research, even if it's classified information because it's, uh, it's uh, written in the treaty article 12 that classified information can be shared between the two countries. And so this is rather new and this is very uh, dangerous for the future because uh, in the UK, and uh, it's uh, I think a good thing, the question about nuclear weapons is the very, uh, very active, very present. In France there is no debate on that subject, but in the UK there is a debate. If the UK stop nuclear weapons, don't want to continue with nuclear weapons, France think that uh, it is damaging for, for, for itself because uh, it could be then the only country in, the, in Europe about, were, uh, with nuclear weapons. So uh, 
helping the, U the UK for continuing modernization of nuclear weapons is important for France. And so we uh, activists, we uh, want to uh, denounce, uh, to, uh, to say it is not normal. Uh, France and the UK have to abandon their nuclear weapons and so stop modernization.